Okay, with the outer planets, you're not gonna, you're not gonna see them. Neptune, Uranus conjunct, it changes a whole generation, it has that for two years. Everybody's got it. It's a changeable thing. So back in what, 89, 90, when you had Uranus and Neptune conjuncting at the, be at the beginning of Capricorn, you had, um, wow, people were, the Capricorn became really excited, visionary, idealistic. It's hard to see what happened. Looking back, Saturn was strong in Capricorn. Neptune's coming in and weakening the strong. What's going on here? One thing, that was a time from before that, not many people had tattoos. But from 1989 to 90 on, having a physical mark of a tattoo on your body, on your skin, skin of Saturn, tattoos with different association symbols, this is what I'm into, that's a Neptune, and a whole different almost mysticism of crystals and stones and rocks and physical things became more mystical than the real just spiritual detachment. From a spiritual viewpoint, from a temple viewpoint, people were getting caught up in Maya and pushed for different images. But from a social cultural view, people were making a distinct image of themselves that they're prepared to live with. And that's who they are. You can see my tattoos. And so a different culture came in around them. But really what was going on was the beginning of the worldwide, it was the beginnings to make the World Wide Web. So these kids, the people born then, are, the Indogo kids as they're called, they, they're, they're brought up and they have an unconventional, they have a sense of excitement and romance all together at once. Wow. And they grew up with the, like, I'm older, I grew up with TV and later on it came to computers, you know, but they go cell phones, but I mean, People are kids born up since the 80s are born up with, with computers always around. But people from the from the late 80s, early 90s, they were born with the internet, with the ability to connect to anyone anywhere around the world for nothing, other than having your computer and stuff. So they were they were the internet, I don't know if you call them zombies, internet kids or internet visionaries. So everybody's dreaming in the world, the business are bringing, wow, how we can get in touch with worldwide business, worldwide kind of corporations, worldwide countries, how to build up the scheme of things. And Neptune vision is building up on the Saturn that's going for the dream. So these kids are growing up with this as a reality. So they have thousands of friends, but they probably never talked. They never gave a hug to any one of them. Um, governments have, so many, like the idea was just going to be a free, open thing, Uranus, but Neptune came in and it became very deceptive, corrupt people's identities, things got stolen, used, and people began to control the internet, Capricorn, of course, for different purposes in insidious ways. So you can't always understand what Uranus, Neptune is. That's a whole special generic, that generation that has that is unique to anything they have their excitement and their romance together in the same place, which is a blessing and a curse. But when the, what it does mean is that if Uranus and Neptune are within a conjunction and they both square the moon or square the Mars, you're getting a double hit of destabilization, destabilization and weakness or temptation. Wow. Easy to tempt someone with a vision, with a joint, with whatever. And now after all these years, Neptune, Marijuana is being made illegal, things, the structure of things are being changed, the global economy is coming, but in, the individual structures are being very, seen very corrupt in how they're using it. Are you using the web? So I don't expect to, to you see a Neptune Uranus conjunction, I say, okay, that's that generation, that's that time. It's not the structure, you still have to work with Saturn and in to make it, that person be who they should be. This is their part of this time, and they're gonna tap into it. Like it's almost impossible to bring up a kid today without letting them have their hour or two, hour or two on Minecraft or on Roblox or on some computer game where they're gonna be playing with, playing with other people on the computer. They're living there. You have to fight to pull them off and use it for discipline. You can't get on there if you haven't done your homework or haven't done other things. Same with adults. Everybody's living in this virtual reality. And the virtual reality is virtually something, but you couldn't call it reality. 
like the movie, it's like a textured movie of access to information. Parts of it can be really intelligent, like some of the YouTube things you can get. You can learn to do almost anything. Somebody's put it down how to do it. But really, there's so many escapes, so many things. There's so much stuff. You can hardly ever have the time to find an eighth of the, a, a tenth of the stuff that you need that would be good to know. So information one way is being more accessible, but it's so voluminous, it's getting more aloof and harder to find. Much less what's right or what's wrong. Should there be a worldwide government things and stopping wars or should there be wars or should these things be like, oh my goodness, the technology and the use of it, the globalization of it. So these are people, these are people going up in the, in the wave where there was a tendency to globalize the world. Of course, the individual countries went along with it, then they start fighting and all of a sudden you have global police force as something different than the individual countries. And there's all kinds of weird things going on. I tend to think um, we've come through a kind of renaissance these last 100 years. So 500 years ago, we had the renaissance of the, of the printing press, the discovery of North America, and all the new a renaissance and new ideas that came out from that, as well as syphilis was lethal back then. After At the heyday of that, the syphilis became extreme and, and, and deadly, and then they became periods of repression and the conservative forces took over. Then there was 300 years of witch hunts. You can't believe this, you can't use this for that. So we've had 100 years of Renaissance now, only we have the computer, we have the bitten word, the age of the bitten word, we have space travel, and we have AIDS. And all of these things are putting together that we've had the Renaissance and we're coming into years of censorship and restriction on how this information could be used. These are Neptune, Uranus, changing the structures, but look at the implications. Oh boy, it's not necessarily leading to independence, but much more dependency, Neptune. So in a funny, strange way, governments through the internet have been able to get the address, the email address, or the website address of almost everybody on the planet without having to really pay for it. This is bringing in a new order. Oh, I didn't think of the Saturn involved in it or the laws or the consequences of it. So we're caught in all these injustices in the world now and disrespect and anger of how it should be done, how belief and excitement now down to ground it requires a lot of controls. There's no way we're gonna have open free internet that's gonna become like different channels on a TV station. And you have to know what channels are there to be able to get to the really exciting, interesting ones.